Uh, hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome to episode one of Eureka Farms with me, Corinium Warrior. So we've arrived in Eureka. I've arrived at the airport. I've got the pickup that I've leased. So yeah, it's uh we going to have to drive over to the farm apparently there's an auction that's going to be happening and I do really want to have a look at buying this farm so I've managed to borrow just over nine well nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars I've borrowed so that's going to be good but hopefully it's going to not cost us too much $989,000 is the maximum amount of money that I've got. I don't really want to go over that if possible. Uh, I'm probably looking around about $950 to $975 max on the money that I can use for the auction bid. But we shall see what happens when we get there. Once we arrive at the farm, I want to show you the letter that I received from TNT Auctioneers. Oh, look at that, I'm getting lost already. Yeah. Well, I think we've just missed a turn there. There we have. Yeah, look at that, that's a good start. I've missed a turn in already. Greenhouses that we got there, yep. Okay. Ooh, right. So this is part of the farm. Right. Pop out, have a look. We've got the greenhouses. Oh, lovely. This is all part of the auction as well, so we've got lettuce there. tomatoes and we've got strawberries right okay and we've got a big wide open space that we can utilize as well that's pretty good so, yeah and apparently all of this is all included in the York pasture by the looks of it. John Deere Precision Farming GPS station fuel station workshop okay, yeah okay large malt fruit silo shed with equipment in more sheds with equipment in. Looks like it's a silage making hay facility. Lovely. The house. With the pickup as well, and all of this is included in your pellet. Park up. Fuel. Oh. Nice TLX 2020 
with a personalised Eureka number plate. Lovely. Okay, nice house. Yeah. Cow barn. Okay. It's the sheds and the vehicles that I really want to have a look at. So apparently... Good. Nice big shed. Well, forage harvester looks with header that actually looks brand brand new. So yeah. Okay. Forage pickup wagon. Nice. Oh, hmm. What? Yeah, that's easy thing. That's in dire need of repair and a clean. So is that. that trailer as well. But what have we got? A brand new Mac. And Wilson Pace, lovely, okay. Cedar that's dirty, not, not a seasoned fertilizer in it. <laughs> yeah, needs repairing. Fertilizer and lime spreader. Completely empty, but yeah. Needs repairing. Oh, a brand new John Deere small tractor. Narrow wheels. Okay. John Deere spot sprayer for all the weeds. Must be for precision farming ready. Lovely. Okay, that's that shed. What have we got in here? Okay. There's a mixture there. John Deere, and we've got Case as well. Looks like a brand new Case Magnum, 400. Case Baylor, okay. Windrower. Tedder. Got a mower with an attachment on the back, so that might come in handy. Okay. A John Deere planter that probably, yeah, needs repairing. Challenge it, yeah, okay. Sugar beet harvester, dirty as hell. Combine harvester, corn header, grain header. Right, okay. But I want to nip back over to the car because I want to show you the letter that I received, and hopefully the auction should should be starting soon. Got to wait for a few more people to turn up. Yeah, but that looks far. Looks like a nice area. But, let's do that. Get to the car. I'm just going to send a drone up. Okay, drone's up. Aerial view, lovely. So this is what we're all bidding on, all of this. Okay. He did say that there was a field right opposite the farm that had wheat that was ready to go as well. Oh, and here it is. There's the farm, there's the field. Right, okay. So let's drop drone back to us. Yeah. 
looks pretty good. Oops, crashing the drone. Right, let's just jump in the car quickly. Oops, turn it down. Uh, I'm going to show you the letter that I received from TNT Auctioneers. And here we go. It's TNT Auctioneers. It says to Mr. Corinian Warrior, I am writing to let you know of an upcoming farm auction in a town called Eureka. See attached photo of the farm area. The farm has several sheds complete with equipment that is in desperate need of repair and it also comes with a farmhouse, three greenhouses, a very large multi-fruit silo, a cow pasture and a field of wheat, which is numbered eight, that is ready to be harvested. Unfortunately, the bank had to foreclose on the previous owners due to times being rather hard financially if this farmland area is something that you would be interested in purchasing at an auction please feel free to attend and have a look round the farm it has a lot of interest from other local farmers in the community hope to see you at the auction Yours sincerely, TNT Auctioneers. Hmm, very interesting. Okay, so, right, well, I'm just going to wait for a little while for the other people to turn up. And once they turn up, hopefully the auction should start. So I will see you at the auction. Now, 12 minutes past nine, and a crowd has actually started to arrive. You can probably hear they're starting to arrive already. Let's just go for a quick wander around. We've got loads and loads of vehicles in the sheds. Uh, everything that you see on this farm is sold as seen and it is all included in with this auction here. So let's get the bidding underway then we're going to start the bidding off of $500,000. I got $500,000. You can give me $550. $550 there sir. Thank you very much. You're going to give me $575. $575 with you ma'am. Thank you very much. I've got six. $600,000 now at the back. I got 625 there, sir, in the front. I got 650 there with you, ma'am. I got 675 in the back. 675, 675. Ah, 700,000 there, sir, with you. Thank you very much. I got 800,000, ma'am. Go up. Thank you very much there, ma'am. Any more? $975,000. Ah, 975,000 in the back there, sir. Thank you very much. I got $975,000. That's for the farm. The sheds and that field. So, any more advances on $975,000? No, sir. Okay, $975,000. Any more advances on $975,000? You, ma'am? No? Okay, I've got $975,000 going once. $975,000 going twice. All done, all through. Sold $975,000 to you there, sir, in the back. Thank you very much, Mr. Corinium. Oh, that was good. We've just bought the farm, and it's all ours. 
Wow. But hey, it's all good. So, we can progress and crack on and get things underway. But yeah, 975,000 for that. So, okay. All right, well, I'm going to pay the auctioneer. And we're going to have to get some vehicles repaired and everything else before we can get away. So, I'm just going to pay the auctioneer now and I shall see you very shortly. Right, okay, that's $975,000 paid. Man. So, we've got everything else now. But, yeah. So, everything is on the farm. It's all ours. Right. First things first, I suppose. What are we going to do with that field of wheat? I suppose we'd better have a look. See what this harvest is going to cost us to get it repaired. And how much fuel is in it? Well, 125 litres. All the keys to the machinery. The crowds have gone. Forty-nine thousand to repair, man. Uh, yeah, we can't afford that right now. So, let's give it a wash. Leave it where it is. I think we're gonna have to get a couple of contracts done. I'm going to have to borrow some of their equipment first. Eat bread. Go back in the workshop, I think. Okay, back in the workshop we go. What we got? Okay. So what contracts have we got to do? Are there any? Okay. Yeah. Might have to set some of these up. Radio. But I am also running this on hard mode. I've got crop destruction turned on, precision farming turned on. I've got the Full Monty turned on on this one, guys. So, yeah, it's going to be fun. It's even running on hard mode. So, the cost of the contracts are going to be low. Well, we've got a sewing contract that's going to pay 72000 
Oh, bloody hell, that's 10. Uh, okay, that's going to be 10. We're going to lose 10 grand on that. But yeah. I think what we'll do is we'll get. We'll get that one done. We'll have to get some seeds down as well. Okay, and that should all be at the shop ready to go. Field 12. I tell you what, let's jump in the new new TLX. Shop's literally just, uh, just around the corner, right by the shop as well. Let's drop our money down. I'll have a lot. I think we might have to hire a worker and take on another contract. Let's let's take on the ploughing contract as well. So that money. Do, and then we've got to get some of our stuff repaired at least as well. So let's we'll have to borrow the equipment for that as well. Those stuff on that side, we'll have to get in the opposite side. <laughs> Field 11. Where is Field 11? Oh, it's just down in the little box. Trees won't cut him back as well. Okay. 
Neil the Lemon just here. I hope so. It is. I'm just going to set up a quick course and get this underway. So, and I shall see you shortly, gentlemen. Uh, that's it. Course is underway. We're ploughing. Now, hopefully, everything's going to be fine. Get some fast work done. Could have done with a bigger plough, really, but hey, there you go. We'll have to come back up through and do those little bits. Anyhow, I'm going to get this field finished. And I'll see you once it's done. Right, okay guys, what I had to do in the end was... Uh, the... Tiger and the plough just wasn't cutting it. It was missing bits left, right, and centre. So I took all the stuff back to the shop and picked up my case tractor and I had to lease a rather large plough. So now the whole field is done, but also what we did that. One of Samuel Ortega's workers, one we took on the sewing contract for, decided to finally show up for work. So, he sent Joanna over to the shop to pick up the cedar, refill it, 
and start sowing the field. But what Samuel did say was that he will still pay us for doing the field. So that's all well and good. So at least we're getting paid for that one. We're going to take this back to the shop now. We're going to collect the money for the plowing contract. So it's getting done. Yeah, it's a bit to get through. Yeah, that's uh, the track is a bit. I've been done with that plow. We are done. Definitely won't be buying one of those then. Not buy a plan. Still got a fair few bits of machinery and everything else to get done as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run over and I'm going to go and speak to Joanna, find out how she's getting on and if she wants us to carry on as we're getting paid for it. So I shall see you shortly. All right, okay guys, I've gone over, I spoke to Joanna. She actually wasn't feeling very well, so I sent her home and we're carrying on with the field. Yeah. So we're gonna make our money. There's a huge field to get so. Uh, we're putting canola in the ground, Samuel Ortega. But yeah. It's going to take about two hours to get done, so we're going to crack on, but I must admit, I don't like the look of the field. There's lots and lots of stones on it, but mind you, at least it's not our equipment that's getting ruined, it's his. He didn't de-stone his field. Some of these actually look quite large and very, very bumpy. So yeah, sewing quite nicely. So what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to finish the rest of this field off and I'll see you once it's almost done. Right guys, we're just coming up and we're on the last little bit of the field. I had to refill the cedar. I'm going to finish this a little bit off. Yeah, it's been a long time. It's now just coming up to 20 to 12.
been a very, very bumpy ride, I must admit. Stones that are in the field. Show you the PDA quick with the stone. As you can see, field 12 is what we've just done, and they are orange, so they are big, chunky. Yeah, it's all done. Thank God for that. Take the equipment back to the shop. Samuel can send someone up to collect. That was a tedious task, that was. our field of wheat there look it's got to be done so hopefully with this contract we should have enough to repair the combine harvester so we've got over two let's just make a quick detour into the yard because i'm not going to let him have those seeds we bought those seeds They're out. Yeah, pop these out of the way. Drop the just here. There we go. That's there are I'll do for planter and cedar. That's it, that's the contract done. So let's get the payment. Uh, 61,000, so yeah. 10 grand for the lease, that's not bad. But hey. So, I'm gonna drive back to the house, have a look around the house. I make myself a cup of coffee. And then whilst I'm having a cup of coffee, I'm going to ponder about seeing what's happening.
Right. But, anyhow, guys, I'm going to have a cup of coffee and whatnot. So that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed. I've been Coronian Warrior. Remember, stay safe, happy gaming, and I will catch you all on the other side. Until then, guys, bye-bye for now.